Hi, I'm Mike Vadalero from Boat US Magazine. I'm here on my boat today to show you how to make a combination anchor road. When I say combination, I mean an anchor road made up of three strand nylon line and a length of chain between the line and the anchor. And to understand a little bit as to why you might want to add a length of chain to your anchor road, you need to understand a little bit about how an anchor works. A lot of people think an anchor works because it's heavy, and that's not exactly the case. An anchor works because of its design. And if you've got a Danforth style anchor like this one with these big flukes, uh, it's designed to be pulled horizontally across the bottom. And if you notice, if you can imagine this being pulled along the bottom, those flukes, they're gonna dig into the sand, mud, what have you, and that's how this anchor develops its holding power. But you can also imagine that it doesn't take much angle of upward pull before those flukes just aren't going to have the chance to bite and hold the bottom. So when we talk about anchoring, we talk about deploying enough scope for the water depth. What we really mean is that anchor line needs to be laying flush on the bottom, needs to be being pulled relatively horizontal to the bottom to give the anchor a chance to do its job. The way that we cheat at deploying scope is by adding something heavy to the end of the anchor line. And that is, of course, our chain. And I'll show you how to connect them up right now. So to get started, you're going to need a few things. Of course, you're going to need a length of chain. More about that in a second. Uh, you're going to need your anchor road. Now, mine came pre-spliced with the thimble in it. Um, if you don't have some chafe protection in your existing road, you may want to consider going out and getting a plastic thimble like this or adding some form of chafe protection. Uh, and then you're going to need a pair of anchor shackles. And the only thing to remember about the shackles is to make sure that the opening in the shackle will clear the diameter of your line, your chain, and your thimble. Um, You'll also want some seizing wire and a pair of cutting pliers for our last step, which is going to be to seize the shackle shut. And while I'm on the topic, make sure that you're buying anchor shackles that have a hole in the pin so that you can do that last step. Now, about the chain. Um, you notice here I'm replacing this old beaten coated chain uh, with some nice fancy stainless chain. And this is actually only, only about five feet of chain. And I know what you're saying, some of you out there, um, that's not enough. Well, certainly uh, adding even a short length of chain will greatly improve the holding power over an all nylon road. Um, but if you've got to anchor in rocky conditions, if you anchor overnight, um, or if you've got a bigger, heavier boat, uh, a lot of people recommend at least half the boat length in chain, or even as much as a full boat length worth of chain. Just remember that if you're going to carry that much chain, you probably need some place to put it. And that every time you go to pull the anchor, you're going to be lifting all that chain in addition to the anchor. If you've got the space and your boat's not impacted by the extra weight forward, go for it. If you don't, try adding just a few feet and seeing if it gets you to where you need to be holding wise. So of course the first step is to use our shackles and our pins and tie everything together. Now once you've done that, you need to go back and seize the shackles, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. So to put this together, I took my anchor shackles and used it to join the road and the chain together, and now I need to seize the shackles shut uh, so it won't go anywhere, it won't be able to come loose. Uh, so to do that, I've got a little bit of seizing wire, which I've bent into a U or staple shape, uh, and I've got a pair of pliers with a cutting edge so I can trim the wire when I'm done. Uh, all I'm going to do is take one end of that U and pass it through the pin and one end and pass it through the opening in the shackle. And then the end that went through the shackle, I need to double back and pass it through the pin so that they cross. Depending on your finger strength, you may need to use the, the pliers to pull that tight. And then you're just going to come back over the end of the pin and start to twist and definitely grab the pliers at this point so you can finish the job. So what you're going to do is keep twisting until that opening there comes tight against the side of the shackle. It's just like the twist tie on the bread. And then use the cutting edge and just clean it up. And there you have it, a seized shackle on a combination anchor road. Hope you learned something today. For more videos, go to BoatUS.com magazine.